opportunity to watch the premier distance runner in the world, Haley Gebra Selassie, perform. Gebra Selassie, the 26 year old Ethiopian, wears bib number 177. He has set a total of 12 world records and three world bests. He is definitely favored to win the 5,000 meter gold. Milian Waldi of Ethiopia is another solid contender. If there's anybody who's going to knock off Gebra Selassie, it could be his teammate Waldi. As a matter of fact, there are three very strong Ethiopian runners here. In addition to Waldi, Asata Mezagebu is a contender for this 5,000 gold. He has a personal best time of 12 minutes, 53.94 seconds. There he is, competitor 178. So there are three strong runners from Ethiopia in this 5,000 meter field. Getting under 13 minutes for 12, for 5,000 meters is somewhat akin to breaking the four minute mile many, many years ago. And there are three men in this field, all Ethiopians who have gone under 13 minutes. Gebra Selassie, the world record holder at 12.39.36, set in 1998. Asefa Mezgeba wearing 178, who's run 12.53.94 and 179 million Walde who's run 1259.30. Phenomenal performance to go under 13 minutes for 5,000 meters. The Bislett record is 13 minutes 00.40 set by Saeed Awita of Morocco in 1985. And it always appears as though Gebra Zelassi has a smile on his face when he's on the track. And he certainly smiles as he's introduced to the crowd. He blows kisses to the 18,000 spectators at Bislett Stadium. He has long been a fan favorite here. He has had some very successful races on this very track. I think one of the major reasons why he is such a fan favorite is that he consistently performs at world level. Very rarely does he let anyone down. Double echelon start and a very, very high quality field. The world record, Gebre Selassie's 12.39.36. And again, we have pacemakers in the race. But Gebra Selassie many times will establish his own pace. And he moves into third place behind the front runners very quickly. On the left, 178, Asefa Mezgebu, one of the sub 13 minute runners, also from Ethiopia. And the pacemakers, 182, Stefan Freikamp of the Netherlands. And 234 Brian Tracy of Ireland. They've got a responsible job of pushing the pace and doing the job, and right behind them, Haley Gebra Selassie. 240, Sami Kipketa of Kenya, who is 17 years old only. 17 years in this class. Sami Kipketa of Kenya, one of the great recent Kenyan finds. And it seems every year the Kenyans come up with someone new to contend in either the steeplechase, the 5,000 meters, or the 10,000 meters. A lot of it based on their great cross-country heritage. A lot of the runners in this field, world-class at cross-country too. So they run their cross-country in winter, and they race on the track in summer. Gebra Selassie with success at a ver variety of distances, 1,500, 3,000, at 10,000, at 5,000. There has been some suggestion that there may be an attempt on the world record in this race. So we'll have to check that. They're going certainly fast enough at present. The pacemakers are doing a good job to stay around or below world record pace. It's very important, of course, that this is sustained over the entire 12 and a half laps. But at the moment, they are on world record pace. And a world record in one of the Golden League meetings is worth an additional prize. $50,000 is the reward if a competitor establishes a world record in one of the seven Golden League meets, seven disciplines for men and five for women. One of the dilemmas faced in a situation like this, whether to go for a world record or whether to make sure that you win the race, because if you don't win this race, you have no chance of sharing or participating in the sharing of the one million prize money at the end of the seven races. And it's very tough to run seven races over these distances as somebody almost gets snagged on a spike there in the middle of that pack. It's very difficult to sustain this quality of performance 
for seven Golden Gala races, particularly at longer distances. So here we see Gebra Selassie really re leading the, the race field, following behind the two pacemakers. Tracy of Ireland is one of the pacemakers, and Cray Camp of the Netherlands is the other. Tracy of Ireland is now the only pacemaker. Cray Camp has dropped out. He's done his job. So the responsibility now falls on Tracy to sustain this pace. The familiar sight, an Ethiopian, followed closely by a lot of Kenyans. It's very reminiscent of world cross-country races. Gabri Selassie, not really a cross-country runner. He tried three times at world level, but was always pushed out by the Kenyans packing so well. And so he's concentrating now on the track, which he's doing very well indeed. And we point out again that unlike other international competitions such as the World Championships or the Olympics where each nation is restricted to a maximum of three competitors in any one event. There can be any number of athletes from one nation. In the steeplechase, for example, we saw nine Kenyans competing. So we see the Tracy, the pacemaker, Gabriel Selassie, the favorite, then the familiar sight of three Kenyans, now four Kenyans, and the second of those Kenyans is Sami Kipketa, the 17-year-old, number 240. Gebre Selassie with a 10 meters lead, not quite 10 meters lead, on the pursuing Kenyans as this field strings out because they are still on world record pace. Tracy has a quick glance back to see where the rest of the field are and notes immediately that Gebre Selassie is on his shoulder. I wonder what Tracy is thinking as he is out there as a pacemaker. He looks back and he sees Gebre Selassie right on his heels. It's probably exactly what he expected. The crowd joining in, urging these athletes on. The applause follows them round the track. Now Tracy is moving aside, his job almost done. Gabriel Selassie now on his own. The work of front running this race. Gabriel Selassie running well within himself as he leads the field. Paul Tracy, the pacemaker, is out of it. And the favorite, Haley Gabriel Selassie, is the leader. We'll be back wrap up the 5,000 after this. Ceremonies at the Pan American Games on Friday night. Track and field gets underway on Saturday, and we'll have coverage for you. Here in Oslo, it is the favorite, Haley Gebra Selassie, leading the way, and surprisingly, the 17-year-old Sammy Kipketer from Kenya is running in second spot. The spotlight on the track, Jeff, is interesting. That indicates world record pace. Yes, that spotlight indicates Gebri Selassie's world record pace, and it gives us some idea that they are, at the moment, still on world record pace. Gebri Selassie doing the front running since the pacemakers removed themselves from this race. But a brilliant run by this 17-year-old Kenyan find, literally two meters behind the greatest middle distance and long distance runner in the world. And another Kenyan, Benjamin Limo, is running in third spot. Gebri Selassie followed by Sammy Kipketer, Benjamin Limo third. The rest of the field, way back, some 50 to 60 meters behind these three, and yet we still have a world-class field here who have been decimated by the pace of this world record equaling run to date. Five laps to go, 3,000 meter time, 741.9, 63.58 for that last lap, which is fast. The race being led by Haile Gabra Selassie, the world record holder at this distance. It almost appears at times as though Gebra Selassie is indicating that he would like Sammy Kipketer to move up and do some of the front running. This is a situation which Gebra Selassie has found himself in many times, and it's a reverse situation because in many occasions when he's been challenging the Kenyans, he has been quite content to sit back and let the Kenyans do the front running. So the situation is reversed. We have this young Kenyan following him. And here we have the image on the track, the spotlight, which shows that they're about 50 meters behind world record pace. So now attitudes may change. Gabri Selassie has got to think about the Golden Gala prize. He's got to decide that if he tries to make up that lost ground on his world record pace, he may leave himself open to challenge by the pursuing Kenyans. There are all sorts of things going on in his mind at the moment. What decision does he make? Does he abandon any world record attempt and concentrate on winning this first of the Golden Garner 5,000 meters? 
or does he try to make up ground? My decision, I think, would be to hold back and try to win this race, which means that he can afford to slow down slightly, to harbour his resources for the devastating finish that he possesses. Deborah Selassie continuing to lead from the 17-year-old Sammy Kipketter from Kenya. Limo has closed in a little on the front running, too. But he is still a good uh, 20 meters back of them. And then there is a huge gap to the remainder of the pack. Gebra Selassie and Kip Ketter, they've been running in this position for about the last five laps and only a couple of strides separating the two. You get an indication now just how far back the rest of the field is. The advantage has now increased to about 70 meters between Limo in third place and the balance of the field. And there's about a 25-meter gap now between the first two, Gebra Selassie and Kip Ketter. And these two leading runners almost creating a wave situation on the part of the crowd because the crowd stand as they come close and applaud them as they go on their way. This crowd is a very, very knowledgeable crowd. And here we see Haile Gavrasilasi inviting this young 17-year-old Kenyan to do a little bit of the leading. He said, no, no, I'm okay, Haile. I like following you. It gives me a feeling of greatness to follow one of the greatest runners in the world. I'll stay back if you don't mind. So Gabriel Selassie is having this trick played on him that he's played on others in the past. It's good to see. This crowd, a very knowledgeable crowd. They love their track and field. They understand track and field. But most of all, they love good distance running. And a huge smile on the face of the 17-year-old Kip Ketter. He really was grinning when Gebra Selassie indicated, go ahead, take the lead. With two laps remaining, it is the 17-year-old from Kenya in front, Gebra Selassie in second place. All thoughts abandoned about world records. Now it's a straight race. Can I win this first Golden Gala event and leave myself available for sharing the million with someone? Or taking the whole million myself if I'm the only one to win the seven races? Kip Ketter just slightly ahead of Gebra Selassie. Limo has closed in from third place. And now Gebra Selassie in the top of the turn decides he's going to go to the front. 600 meters to run. He's putting in his finishing effort, already a five, six meter gap, and this magnificent little Ethiopian pouring it on now for the final 600 meters. He's still on pace to break 13 minutes, and there aren't too many runners in the world with that capability. He's still on pace. The interesting question now, of course, can Sami Kipketa keep his running, keep his control, keep his rhythm, and also go under 13 minutes as a 17-year-old? That would be quite astounding. Limo in third place. Gebra Selassie pouring it on over the final 400 meters at the bow. He had increased his lead over the second place runner, Kip Ketter from Kenya. And down the back straight, it is all Haley Gebra Selassie. Let's watch carefully to see if Saida Wheater's Bislett record of 13 minutes, 0, 0 0.4 will be broken. My judgment is that it will be. The other interesting question, of course, can Sami Kim Ke Kip Ketter as a 17-year-old also go over th under 13 minutes? Ali Gebra Selassie, to the applause of the crowd, coming off the band, a smile on his face. He knows he's got this one under control. Watch the clock, and the winning time for Gebra Selassie will be... One a 12.53.93, and that is a Bislett Games record. And I think the young Kenyan also got in under 13 minutes. Outstanding running. They literally destroyed this world-class field in an exhibition of 5,000-meter running. Brilliant. Halle Gebra Selassie in his homeland has become a goodwill ambassador for the UN Development Program in Ethiopia. And as he continues to run, he delights crowds around the world. As Jeff pointed out earlier, each time he puts his foot on a track, he is there to win. And most times, he's successful. Gebra Selassie with a winning time of 12.53.92, and Kip Ketter also went to Kenyan. Sammy Kipketter, and you see the performances of some of the other world.